I'm up in prison. I had a really loud praising earlier, but I don't think we're gonna suffer if we don't have enough really, really passionate praising. But I was, you know, I'm just very excited. Um, it seems like, you know, that we're making progress. We, we went to the, 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 the mosque down in uh, the south part of Manhattan and at first, <coughs> first Avenue and 11th and just a very nice visit this time. I talked to this guy that talked too much and I was just wanting to talk to anybody and this guy spoke perfect English and was a Muslim from Indonesia. Um, a retired guy, I think he's around 69 years old. And and uh, I mean, he knows the fun fundamentals of uh, Islam. And I mean, we didn't go into a long discussion, but I talked to him for 10 minutes. The prayers lasted about 10 minutes and then the I, I didn't even really get a chance to to do my Christian prayers and pray out all the evil spirits and the demons and what have you. Because I, mean, I do believe what the Bible says about our battles not against fr flesh and blood, but against the powers and princes, principalities of the air. It's a dark, dark world out there. But um, he understood the concept of scales, what the what the Muslims call scales, and all that means is your good deeds to make it to heaven. Your good deeds have to outweigh your bad deeds. But the main thing that I'm encouraged about is that this guy's name is Dan, and he likes to talk. And I like to talk, and so we're just a, every time I see him, I, that's not gonna be an issue. Um, but time is always an issue, and motivation on their part. I mean, obviously, I'm here for a reason, and I cannot make that reason too apparent, I don't think, at least not if I, want to make any progress at all in getting them into any type of substantive conversation about um, uh, things of God so but I mean compared to last year this is like a light years leap in progress I mean he was a this guy named Dan is grew up friends with the guy that was in charge of the prayers yesterday and he was just telling me this the guy that he's friends with is just below the imam as far as their their structure goes um on the home front um found the craziest combination that you could ever imagine all you really need to keep warm, and believe it, I know it's July, it's Manhattan, and <coughs> the idea of keeping warm shouldn't even be an issue, but it is. And it's one thing I noticed back in, I guess it was 99, 98 when I moved to Michigan, warmth in Texas means nothing when you get far, far up north, so I got to Michigan, and it was just immediately night and day. I couldn't breathe in Texas because of the heat, and then I was immediately buying winter clothes when I got to Michigan, and this was in August, September. So, you know, if this is a cold uh, fall and cold winter, you got to take that seriously because 
the ability to the ability to get a good night's sleep is absolutely essential. Although we know Paul suffered a great deal in the sense that on his list, his long list of things that he would do for the elect, uh, sleepless nights was on there, and cold being cold was on there too. So, um, and missionaries are uh, called to suffer, so um, that should be. That might be news to you, but it's not to me because I read so much because these guys are my heroes. But at any rate, we're going a little bit long. We're up to getting near the six-minute mark. Uh, the main thing I ask of everybody is just if you watch this, just listen. Prayer. Um, prayer is the main thing, and I, I just, you know, I, I hope that you pray uh, because these are eternal questions and half the world's population well I shouldn't say a lot of those a lot of those people I'm including in half the world's population are other faiths like Hindu and um, those type of crazy crazy mantra home type things but over a billion with a B couple billion coming up pretty quick uh, are, are Muslims and that is a significant pop portion of the population but at any rate love you guys pray for souls I mean if you do nothing else in this life pray for souls Revelation 7 9 John saw multitudes every tribe tongue and nation Praising the Lamb. Get him up and praise him!